everyone. I am Muftar Navila Abdullahi. Thank you for your company. We just want to share with you the reaction from the Ghana Football Association on the current happenings following Black Stars' 1-0 win in their last group stage World Cup qualifier against Bafana Bafana of South Africa at Aquifco Sports Stadium on Sunday, November 14. South Africa have leveled a plethora of allegations against the, the officials, though they've not mentioned Ghana FA, but things they've said, the Ghana FA feels that it attacks the integrity of the game. The Ghana FA have said that the FA were not, uh, South Africa were not given a raw deal. They have said that in their statement, everything they, they, they did were right in, in, in the image of the game, in the fair play regulations and all that. So the FA have said that South Africa started lying with claims that it takes nine hours to travel from Accra to Cape Coast for the match, which is quite funny because basically two hours. They, they, the FA have said that they went with a mortal cage, so they don't understand why South Africa saying all these things. FIFA has written to the Ghana FA to com uh, make comments. The GFA have said that they will make comments. This is it. If I'm going to offer an advice to the Ghana FA, I'll offer it based on the decision FIFA arrived when they were banning J.O. Lamte. When they banned J.O. Lamte, J.O. Lamte had not responded to some claims that FIFA made. So I think the Ghana FA should look at the the evidences South Africa is going to present to FIFA and punch holes in them. Um, punch holes in the sense that you make their argument look irrelevant. That is the only way this can suffice. Or else FIFA will just rely on the evidences available to them and take a decision. And that's going to be dire. I think that the, the Ghana Football Association have conducted themselves so well in this match. Um, despite all the Hula Balu, the FA have been quiet, but they've been stretched to a limit that they had to respond and they reacted to it. Knowing very well the Ghana Football Association, I can hazard the kind of responses they're going to give. And I just think that at the end, FIFA will still have the final say because, as, I'm, as I've always said, external factors can influence the outcome of matches. I can influence the decision of the referee. A betting company can influence the decision of the referee. So if FIFA is able to gather evidences to that fact, that's when CISA would, FIFA would award a decision. But if they're not able to gather any evidences to that fact, then nothing much would happen. So at this point, I'm just thinking the Ghana FA will mount a very good defense, a defense that will floor South Africa's claims. And I think that at the end, the FIFA regulations are going to stand tall. By November 23, the General Committee will receive it. I think South Africa will send further documents to FIFA. When they do, and we lay our fingers on them. We'll be back here to discuss with you what those documents entails. Thank you for joining us. I am Muftar Nabila Abdullah.